Sugar, 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 sugar. Hello, out there on YouTube, Landy. I welcome to another Zizi review. We're gonna discuss the BGC, the reunion episode, a uh, part two. Okay, not to be confused with part one. I right, am gonna start out with the outfits. I know, and I'm gonna be offensive here because I was just saddened and hurt and offended and all kinds of, you know, and I needed a tissue because all those girls came back out wearing the same shit that they wore in the last episode, you know, with a part one, a part one of the show, and I didn't like it. I mean, because I didn't like the outfits at all. Except for Sassy, and I'm going to tell you why. Because she was the circus bear, okay? She was the circus bear, let's not forget that. And I just felt like I needed some cotton candy, and I wanted to get on one of the rides and everything. Yeah. In honor of theater change, I thought I'd do this part of the show, this little segment, in a different outfit. Something that the BGC Season 7 reunion should have did. It's all for you. Anyway, I want to talk about Paris Hilton. I know, there's not much to talk about. He was just a pervert. But I do want to talk about the way he just kept on and on and on dissing Tasha and Priscilla. There was a lot of editing in the part where they're like threatening Stasi and Stasi's threatening Dom or whatever. But since I deal with movie making, I'm here to tell you, they edit that shit sloppy. And I really thought that it was pretty tacky and pathetic the way they kept on trying to make Priscilla look like she was scared of Stasi. She was clearly holding her own. She kept on getting up. She threatened Stasi pretty well. I mean, because Stasi had all the opportunity in the world to get out of her chair, lunge at her like the circus bear she is, and rip her face off. But she didn't. So when Paris Hilton goes on to say, oh, you know, Stasi's running shit or whatever, it was like, nah, you know, they, that was a setup. He was setting it up. And I felt like it was kind of fucked up in that way because I don't think it's fair for Perez Hilton to influence the audience the way he did. I thought it was some tacky shit, and I wasn't appreciating it at all. And since Perez Hilton was doing such a wonderful job at making the girls look stupid, he goes on to further humiliate Tasha by bringing up the gay, for, you know, for gazy or for, for gula or whatever they called, you know, a little Italian word for faggot. Because that's what that was about. And he was a, highly offended about it. So he goes to rip her ass a new one about it. And I thought it was like, mm, you know, whatever. Honey, there's a lot of people that don't think that gay is cool. I'm not one of them. You know, because I'm, I'm like, be you. Love whoever the hell you want to love. Because it's all good and it's life. And, you know, I'm the type of person that thinks it's okay to be gay, straight, whatever. Just as long as you ain't hurting kids, do you. You know, it's your bet. Lie in it with whoever you want to lie in it. You know, whatever. So... He was all hurt and offended and discombobulated and he was going through all kinds of changes, all kinds of menopause and hot sweats. And I thought that was tacky in a way because they have their own family beliefs and they're raised the way they're raised. And if they're going to be ignorant, that's fine. But homeboy was like, oh, I can't even stand the gay friends you have. So it was like, whoo, he had a hate for her and it was <sighs> whatever. So basically during the whole entire episode, he made Tasha and Priscilla, you know, the BGC Season 7, America's Most Hated. Whatever. And they were anyway, so that was fine with me. So I did that whole entire little segment for you in a whole different outfit to prove to you that it could be done. So anyway, back to our schedule programming. Back to the first outfit. And I want to start that off by talking about Perez Hilton's outfit. Yeah, we're going to do that again. And I think that Perez Hilton needed to take off that Scottish kilt because number one, he ain't even Scottish. He's Cuban. He should have been wearing a ringmaster's outfit because, you know, Stassi was the circus bear. And keep it real, that shit was a circus anyway. The bitches on that show were off the hook. Drama, 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 and that's why we tune in, right? So let's get started. Now, closer viewing on Judy's outfit, I saw when she got up that she had nothing but holes on the side. And that was like, oh, no, homegirl, you wearing a prostitute's uniform. I love Judy, but, but her choice in outfits is just... Very sad. And she still hasn't found the outfit for Miss Voodoo. And poor Miss Voodoo was sitting there butt ass naked. And then Miss Voodoo's there talking about she got a crush on Priscilla. Oh, please. And then Priscilla got happy. The whole show was just a mockery of the first part. I enjoyed the first part just a little bit. I wasn't really, you know, excited as much as I wanted to be. But the second part was even worse than the first part in every which way. Now, let's talk about Perez Hilton. Oh, no. Homeboy was a hot mess. He was more orange than Priscilla and Tasha put together. And that's a lot. Okay. And then I felt like his character on the show, like I said before, we needed a fierce diva hosting that show because Perez Hilton is, 
he's such a bad host. I mean, he was such a pervert. On top of the fact that he is an obvious homosexual, he's over here talking about Judy's coochie so much. I was just like, oh my God, fall up in her pussy, right? Go inside her stomach and then come out in nine months and then she can give birth to you. Because the way he talked about her pussy was like, because it was so perverted and disrespectful and it was annoying after a while. And it was just, ugh, I don't want to hear that shit. So that was pissing me off. Already. And then there was Tiara with all that makeup and it was just too much. Too much, right? And then she had more bags under her eyes than the airport. But whatever. Now, I'm going to get on Priscilla's outfit because it was a wreck and a hot mess. Okay? Because if you ever seen the movie Hellraiser, then you know what I'm talking about. She ripped off Pinhead's outfit and wore it to the show, and it was just a mess. It was scary, and I was happy when Angie ripped it because it looked like she was constricted and she couldn't breathe. So I was like, somebody please let her breathe. So whatever. So then Angie obliged her and ripped that shit, let homegirl breathe. But the truth is, I wanted Angie to whip that ass, and she didn't. Priscilla actually looked like she got the good punch in there, fucked up. It's all Shelly's fault because she jumped in in that fight, and she distracted poor Angie, and Angie got her ass kicked. And that fight started out because Angie was sitting there talking about, I'm going to put you on blast right now. Fuck that. I don't care, she was bitch. All like, I'm going to put you on blast, you know. I'm going to tell everybody that's sick because you shit talked about me, blah, blah. And that voice, you know. She's, like I said earlier, she's a caricature of a Puerto Rican girl from the 80s, and she really is. And it's very annoying because we don't all talk like that. Honey, I'm from the Bronx. I'm a Puerto Rican girl. I'm an old girl. So homegirl should not be talking like that. Stop it. That's fake. I wanted her to fuck Priscilla up. I did. But it seemed that Shelly jumped in, not minding her business as usual, right? So she just wants to be touched and everything. We obviously could see that. So, of course, Shelly jumped in because she's a big old lesbian and she want to get between the girls and get her feel up because don't nobody want nothing to do with her throughout the whole entire show except for boring-ass Cheyenne, you know, whenever she needed to use somebody as a pillow. Shelly was the one, right? So whatever. So she's there and then she gets between them and because of that interference, Angie gets sucker punched real good and real hard. Supposedly, Priscilla's sitting there with a big old knot across her head, and that's funny and everything, but I'm going to be honest. Priscilla won that fight. Angie got fucked up. But Angie, she's a little scrappy little thing. She's a scrappy little chihuahua. And she's a barker, but she's not a good fighter because those girls stay kicking her ass. But whatever, she's always in that, and I appreciate that about her. Okay, so I want to talk about Shelly and the fact that she's a pathetic ass biat. Not only was she wearing her pajama dress, or it looked like a fat girl shirt, or whatever, because that dress was a tired mess, and I'm going to say it, and I don't care who don't like it. I really don't. Her, the blue on it was faded, like she wears it to sleep every night, but whatever. So she's sitting there, and she gets to talking about Judy, about what a puta Judy is, which means a hoe in Spanish. What a puta slut whore, blah, 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 your dirty pussy, your dirty pussy. It's like, do you want to smell that pussy? Because Judy was not interested in smelling your pussy. But it sure seems to me like she was all wanting to be up on this girl's pussy. Because pussy, pussy, pussy. And they talked about pussy, pussy, pussy. It was a pussy festival. And they talked about more pussy than the Broadway show Cats. And right? so they all up there talking about Judy's pussy. He said, just to clear the record, is your pussy dirty? Or do you have a clean pussy? Or something to that effect, which is very inappropriate. And that's how I found Perez Hilton to be throughout the whole entire episode. Extremely inappropriate. Right, so then he says that, and then, and then she talks about how Creole and delicious and wonderful her pussy is, and how, how, how the girls all sit there looking stupid. Then after that, she goes and tells the girls, by the way, boom, thank you for making me famous. And I was like, you go, girl, let those bitches know, because they all became famous for being bullies. So, karma did get somebody's ass, Shelly, yours. Boop, you're nobody again. So, whatever, or you was nobody again now, then, whatever. Cause as far as I concerned, Shelly was always a nobody. She's fake. And then the word fake gets thrown around here and there and everywhere. And all those bitches was fake, every last one of them. I think the realest one, and I'm going to still stick to my guns here, is Judy. She's the realest one. Yay, Judy. And Miss Judy, you win again. That's right, mama. You go, girl. Because Tom Girl was the realest one. She said it. She said, I was myself on the show. I did. There was no acting. It was just me. I was being myself. I want to fuck a guy. Fuck him. Deal with it, right? The bitches were having heart attacks. Oh, so you think that you was classy? And of course, Priscilla was whining about it. Priscilla, Tasha, and Shelly are all getting on Judy about her sexual escapades in the house. And I just think it's because those bitches weren't getting on or, you know, they're so classy. So they have to get with these guys or whatever. So when Angie tells the world that Priscilla flips pizzas for a living, it's no shock to me. Because I'm like, yeah, if it's the voice. Hey, so you want a slice? If it's the voice, perfect, right? She's definitely a little mini-me Robert De Niro. Definitely. And I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to stick to that. And that voice is scary and it remains scary throughout the whole entire episode. So that was cool. 
So we had a little bit of horror mixed with the circus. So it was all good, whatever. So towards the end, they give us the show, you know. They give us a little something extra, a little special treat. We get to see Stasi's video. All right, I don't know if any of you already have seen it prior to this episode. And I saw it to its entirety. And I was not impressed then, and I was even less impressed when they showed clips of it. Of course, the girls were there laughing at Stasi. Stasi was sitting there looking like, yeah, girls, that's right. I came out with a whole video about ham. I went ham on you, and I'm ham on you. And it was, it was bad. It was pretty awful. It sucked. See, I'm an old girl, and I know about music. I know how it's done in the studios and things like that. I have friends. And I'll tell you the truth. You'll be real quick to be a one-hit wonder, if nothing at all, if you use a word like ham or the newest word that's out for for now, it'll most likely sink the song. You see, I can't picture Stassi becoming anything in the music business because she reps too much about money and nonsense and drinking and hoeing and, you know, and spending money and, you know, yeah, and I got, and it's like, mm, we don't need no more of that. And she don't got no Nicki Minaj looks to try to capitalize off of that. It ain't gonna happen, you know. She can never be the sexy-ass clown that Nicki Minaj is. And she just proved it to the world that all she could be is the circus bear with the tutu. And that's fine and everything, but I don't think hip-hop is ready for the circus bear to come out with a rap. Especially a bear eating ham. Bears don't eat ham. They eat fish. Shelly could probably make that song up about eating fish because, you know, according to the girls, she's a Sasquatch. Because she does actually towel over everybody like a big old lumberjack. <laughs> Only she can't fight. Because every time she gets into it with Stassi, Stassi beats that ass like she's her child. But whatever. And I will have to say this about the BGC Season 7 reunion episode part 2. I was very disappointed in it. It was not that great part 1, but part 2 was even worse. And I mean way worse. Like I said earlier, Perez Hilton, he just made a complete ass out of himself. He was disgusting. And, and it's just not fair for that show and us to see a host like him hosting the way he does. He's like a big old pervert and then he's not even cute about it. It's just like obscene. And, and then he goes and wears a kilt and insults the whole of Scotland. And it's not cool. It's not nice. And I'm there not appreciating it at all. But I'm sorry if I was a big old meanie grouch about that episode. But I'll have to keep it real. That's how I felt. That's my opinion. And I'm sorry. So don't forget, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love you long time. Mwah. Thanks for watching my show.